fellow citizens of the internet, this is of course Richard, and today I bring you another episode on the OmniSlab server. It has been far too long since I've said that. Anyway, lots and lots of stuff has happened since I last released an episode, and I want to cover it all as quickly as I possibly can. So I will be putting together a whole bunch of short clips of bits and pieces, which will most likely take up the whole episode. I have got a lot to get through though, so with that, let us away! First up, you may remember last video's Ender Dragon fight. It was great fun, but I completely neglected to record what came after it. We built a bridge way the heck out here and established a temporary Ender Ender. It has five levels, and as you can see, Endermen spawn on the pressure plates, and are pushed off down the chute, they are stopped by the vines, and then they fall the precise distance they need to in order to be... One hit kills! Kaboom! So that's lots and lots and lots of really easy XP, and we've been putting it to very good use. It's especially awesome in combination with... Nice plays! Some might recognize our trading hall. It isn't all that spectacular, but it gets the job done. In here we have a villager trading looting three enchanted books. This blacksmith guy who has all kinds of interesting and useful things available. A perfect wheat villager with whom we can trade wheat for emeralds until the cows come home. And several others to fill in the gaps. To supply the wheat villager and thus get easy emeralds, we've also put this new wheat tower up. Don't worry, it'll get designed or relocated before too long. But with it, we can get plenty of wheat very quickly to trade for emeralds, to trade for tools and armor, which is awesome. <coughs> On an unrelated topic, I also have some things to come clean about. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff in secret. Uh, let me show you some footage. Today... It's November the 20th, 2013, and today I am about to embark upon a secret journey of intrigue and craziness and messing with people's heads in as much as I possibly can. Uh, I am going to go all out. This is going to be the E-Prank series only times a gajillion. I'm totally going all out, and it is going to be crazy. Uh, where am I right now? I am way the heck away, as you can see from my coordinates. I'm at 6425, negative 1074. I have established, um, or I am in the process of establishing a very rudimentary uh, starting sort of base thing uh, so that I can... Uh, work out of here, get a lot of resources uh, in secret. And all of this is going to be completely secret. I will never be revealing that I have all these resources. And um, so it, it'll be like on, on camera, I won't have much. Uh, and as far as anyone else is concerned, I will not have much to my name. And so hopefully I will be less of a suspect. Uh, but that is only one small facet. Uh, unfortunately, as part of this, I am going to have to lie directly more than once. Uh, and I definitely, um, I don't like that. It, it sort of goes against what, um, pranking is supposed to be and what the e-prank sort of was and whatever. Um, but unfortunately with this few people on the server, there's really no getting around it. However, I'm hoping that, um, my lies will be believable enough and so forth that I will be able to get away with it and I won't lie about anything too, like, too major. Um, like, if someone confronts me without evidence and says, did you do this? I will say, no, I did not do this. Uh, I haven't got it all planned out, but I've got a lot planned. And basically what I'm planning on doing uh, is I'm going to do, uh, what is it, um, nine pranks, nine pranks plus one maybe. Uh, the last one will be basically hinging on whether people have figured it out by the time I get around to them. At this point, uh, mostly what I've been focusing on are the clues, the hints, the um, bits and bobs along the way. Uh, and I've pretty much planned it all out beforehand. Uh, fingers crossed, this should be a truly amazing uh, set of pranks, and it should mess with everyone on the server 
uh, and it should just be generally much fun had by all. So I will be back in just a second for you, and probably, you know, possibly as much as a month or two for me, who knows? Um, I'm, my plan right now is to gear up and supply off camera, get a bunch of supplies that no one else will know that I have, so as to be able to dive right into upscale pranking uh, when I do it, because gosh darn it, if I'm going to prank, you'd better believe I'm going to do it right. So I'll be right back. So I'll make a big deal of it when I eventually find diamonds uh, in my that's weird, uh, in my real exploits. Uh, but here are my real first diamonds on the server. Oh shit, that was actually a server-wide achievement. I hadn't thought of that. Ha. Alright, that should get people off my back. First clue, first first coded message thing. I'm placing it. Uh, I've got all the Christmas decorations up and so forth. It's all very festive and holiday-y. Uh, this building is not finished. As you can see, right there. That's going to be first clue or hint to anyone on the server that anything is happening at all. So I think that works pretty nicely. Alrighty, well here goes nothing. Um, Alright, so it's January 8th and I'm ready to drop another hint here. Uh, more, you know, threatening sort of message sort of thing. I'm gonna try and be sort of quick about it, but I can't talk and think at the same time. Everyone seems to be offline though, so I'm not too worried, so... Put this one together to be pretty easy to crack. Um, I want this one to be solved. The other one is a bit more difficult. Um, and it'll be sort of more impressive if somebody does get it. But this one... I, it doesn't really even have anything in it, so it's not too crucial if it, you know, doesn't get... It, it doesn't really matter if anyone f solves it or not. Um, this one isn't going to be crucial either, but it'll be just kind of a little bit of fun and a little bit easier to solve to make it sort of um, interesting and intense and so forth for... Well, it, whatever. It'll it'll sort of mm, foreshadow the thing to come. Anyway, let me let me finish filling in these signs because I can't I can't type and talk at the same time. There we go shall see where this goes. Okay, crazy stuff is happening. Ha, huh, so today is what? January 29th, 2014. Um, and just recently, the Wealth Wars started. Um, and I will be honest, I had no idea what I was going to do for pranks or anything. Um, I was setting up the little signs and stuff here and there, but this has opened itself up as an incredible possibility, I think. Um, I, I have quite the opportunity, uh, which I am going to take advantage of just as soon as I can. I have actually entered my pseudonym, uh, UI for equals, into the, um... Wealth Wars, as well as my, you know, main, actual, um, Richard. Uh, so, I will actually be competing as both. Um, uh, my plan is, as Richard, to just do, 
you know, as much as I can and primarily focus on music discs and other sorts of things like that. Um, do enough mining to get up the, um, the diamonds necessary for the 20 diamond blocks. Um, but otherwise, not too much more. Um, beyond that, though, um, it's gonna be pretty much... Stop. Minecraft, what are you doing? Please run. Thank you very much. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, with, you know, my Richard persona, if you will, I have little intention of, um, really playing to win, although if the record farm is decently efficient, I might try and win that way. Um, but here, I am instead going to be focusing my mining efforts primarily on UI for equals sorts of endeavors, and I'm fully intending on trying to win uh, with at least putting in a very solid effort um, and getting people's attention, trying to win with an anonymous person who no one knows who it is. Um, my thoughts at this time are I'm probably going to set up, um, like, you know, they deposit payment in chests in X location when no one's online, I can grab it sort of thing. Um, so that should be interesting. Hopefully it goes as planned. Um, hopefully I'm not discovered, for example, right now. I just established that I was quitting for the night. No one else is on. So I'm gonna go collect my diamonds. I'm fairly certain I have the 20 diamond blocks necessary. Um, and earlier today, uh, Mr. Economist was basically looking on the whole UI4 equals thing as though it was someone who had somehow gotten past the whitelist. Um, an avid fan who was just messing around, or one of us just messing around. And I want to prove it to him that mm, whoever UI4 equals is, they are not messing around. And so with that in mind, I am going to grab um, 20 diamond blocks, which I'm quite certain I can put together, and um, put that down with a note saying, you know, basically, I uh, take this, this is the down payment, I don't even need to pay this until the end, but here, just to show that I'm, that I mean what I say, I'm, I'm, this is, this is this, sort of thingy. Um, so that's a general idea, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get that going, and then I will be right back. Uh, actually, I, I may as well take the opportunity to show off the base such as it is at the moment and what wealth I have accumulated as I've sporadically, you know, worked on things and done some fishing and all that other kind of things. Um, I will be playing this honestly. Any of the name tags and so forth that I've gotten from fishing, I will not be using uh, in this competition. Um, they've established that um, Mr. Economist is a dis he's at a severe dis uh, blah, blah, blah. He's at a severe disadvantage um, when it comes to fishing, just because he can't really fish on the server, there's too much lag. Um, so any name tags I've gotten that way, I will not use. Uh, let me, okay, so let me drop off my inventory. Um, that's, that's Rex name tag, I need to remember that. Um, dupe. Let me grab some of this stuff. If I do this, no, it's gonna be... Stupid value. You know what, whatever, I'll drop that. Uh, inventory management, isn't it fun? Oh, shoot. I've been trying to maintain as, um, honest and, uh, reliable. Um, I, I, I've basically been trying to transition as smoothly as possible. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna do this methodically if I can. Um, switching off inventories and so forth and trying to maintain my inventory as it was as much as possible so that it's, um, less suspicious and so forth, if you will. Uh, no, I do want that. Uh, that goes, though, that goes, that goes, that goes, and that goes. Okay, um, bleh, okay, that's, that, that looks good. Um, good enough. I am actually still in iron. I have not upgraded to diamond yet, just because I've, sa I've been saving every diamond I can. Um, currently I only have five blocks in diamond form, but... I also have uh, this, so 64 plus 27 diamond ore 
That's all redstone, that's all iron, that's gold, and that's lapis. And that is coal, and that is nether quartz. So I have a lot of resources going for me at the moment. I also have a bunch of, you know, other farms and so forth. This is my little fishing area. I have gotten at least one name tag from fishing and some other mm, delicious goodies. Um, I'll be looking more deeply into that in the future, though. Uh, what other sorts of resources do I have? I've done a bunch with the spider spawner, which is right there, um, which was very convenient, but the spiders have been giving me an immense amount of difficulty because they climb everything. I haven't been able to find anything that they won't climb, which basically stymies <laughs> everything I try to do uh, with manipulating them and putting them anywhere um, reliably. Uh, so I haven't really got a good XP farm up and running, but that's okay, because I figure, um, at this point, if I've got anything I want to enchant, I can just use the Ender Ender, uh, when no one is online. Um, I haven't actually gone on a, um, enchanting run yet, but. So let's see, how much more do I need? I need f 15? Yeah, 15 diamond blocks, which is 15 times 9. I may as well do some of this on camera at least. Um, so 15 times 9 is what? Uh, I hate doing math in my head. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, uh, ba 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 I'm gonna bring up calculator, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna plan on editing this footage down, uh, rather severely once I actually end up doing anything with it. So 15 times 9 equals 135. So I need 135 extra diamonds, uh, which I think think I can get. That's actually more than I sort of expected, but I was, I, w I, was, I was enjoying keeping all of this in diamond form, um, or diamond ore form. It made me feel even richer, uh, but it's okay, I will spoil it. I will spoil it for the sake of this display of wealth. I will have months to get more, and I'm very confident that I'll be able to. Um, sure I'm using fortune. Really don't want to waste any of this. So that's 60. What did I need? 135. That minus 64, I should have done this before, is 71. So it's two stacks and minus 64 again is... What? No. What? I th Okay, whatever. Um... I think I just might, I subtracted, it was 70, <laughs> math, I'm just gonna do, I know it's at least two stacks, so this should give me absolutely plenty, and I'll still have a bunch left over in store. <sighs> Look at all the XP too, that's fun, that's, that's great fun, um, I will definitely want to spend that before I go back to my normal life. Otherwise, it will definitely look suspicious. Uh, if just, you know, randomly between <laughs> between things I go, I spike from, you know, something. Uh, this is all stuff that I'm sort of trying to keep half in mind. Um, so let's see, how much does that give me? Especially if I factor in these. Uh, uh, very nice, very nice. That is the 20 blocks of diamonds that I need. No sweat, no sweat. And I still have, yeah, half a stack left. Very good, very good. Um, so now all that remains is to make the final preparations and drop off a chest with a note. Uh, and that kind of thing, just to show that I am entirely serious. So I'll be right back when I'm ready to set that up. The weather is most appropriate. Here it is. Perhaps I did not make myself clear enough before. I am UI4 equals, and I'm in this to win. You wanted these at the end, but take them now. And we will see what they say in response to that. Also, I did go exploring out in the wilds and found, among other things, a nice ice spikes biome and collected some packed ice from it.
And after that, you are most likely expecting to hear the incredible and crazy pranks or mind games that I played on people, but things didn't happen that way. Uh, no, I managed to cause a massive upheaval, and everyone was upset and chaos ruled the land. Well, for a few hours at least. I'll go over it in more detail in another video with the other folks if I haven't already, but to cut a long story short, we did get past it and all's well in the kingdom once more. Uh, the big change is that the awesome plans that no one had any idea I had will never come to fruition. But honestly, it's fine. Now I can focus on my projects on camera and I'll be able to be a lot more honest and open with everyone, which is a good thing. And now, due to the way that I forced myself to do a crazy amount of strip mining, I have a crazy amount of resources! I'm rich! <laughs> Over here we have Dino's new base, barely begun construction, but already looking awesome. And... Over here we've got the arena, which Dino started and most likely all of us will lend a hand with. It'll be really cool once it's finished, for PvP sorts of things. I imagine many a score will be settled on this turf. Your sand. Sandstone. Anyway. It is most certainly worth mentioning that a lot of work has been put into the council hall of late. I've got a clip or two around here someplace. Alrighty, so I, I am I am recording now and Right. Plus Plus and I have plans. Uh, we are excavating mm. the area for the council building. I nearly ran right off the edge. And <laughs> um, we are ready to detonate a massive chain explosion. So, Mr. Perplus, if you would do the honors. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, this is beautiful. This is, like, the most amazing thing. This is glorious. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get caught in the blast. Uh, too late. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was beautiful. Ready? Set. Fire in the hole. Yes, here now. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be doing this again. Oh! Okay. Oh! So, um, this is a sport called Explosion Chasing. Very dangerous. One of the most extreme sports out there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And here is the result. Eventually, we want to clear out enough space to build some really impressive stuff. I've sketched out some ideas, which should be cropping up on your screen about now. The goal is a focus to the server, a central build that shows off just who we are and what we can do. I'm really excited and I can't wait to see this project through to completion with the help of the rest of the server. Next I will spotlight the Wealth Wars. The idea behind this is that Wreckabilly and Mr. Economist wanted to show off all the riches they had on the server and so they've set up a competition. At the end of March, everyone in the Wealth Wars will contribute 20 diamond blocks and whoever has the most wealth points tallied from all this stuff and all the things respective point values listed here wins all the diamond blocks. Currently, that stands to be at least 60 diamond blocks. Now, before I'd revealed my secret stash, I had little hope of winning, but now I'm confidently entered and reasonably certain that I'll at least stand a fighting chance. So that should pretty much wrap things up. Uh, next time around, I will be giving you more of the more usual traditional sort of format for the series. Uh, but for now, thanks a lot for checking out the video. There are many more to come, so definitely keep watching. However, with that, I will conclude this episode and bid you farewell for now. From Omni Slabs. Catch you next time. <laughs>